loss is very common problem, it affects 85% of men and 40% of women. There are several types of hair loss, but most common is male type hair loss, also called androgenic alopecia. There are several options for male type hair loss including, minoxidil, finasteride, low-level laser therapy, but their effectiveness is minimal and less consistent results. That's why lately surgical hair transplantation gains its popularity as an effective, safe, and reliable way for patients distressed by androgenic alopecia. Best candidates for hair transplantation are patients who has frontal baldness. The main mechanism of hair transplantation is to remove hair follicles from one part of the body, called the donor site, and transplant it to a bald or balding part of the body known as the recipient site. Grafts containing hair follicles that are genetically resistant to balding, like the back of the head, are transplanted to the bald scalp. Hair transplantation can also be used to restore eyelashes, eyebrows, beard hair, chest hair, pubic hair and to fill in scars caused by accidents or surgery such as facelifts and previous hair transplants. Hair transplantation has no important side effects. For example, hair thinning, known as shock loss, is a common side effect but it is usually temporary. Although age is no bar for hair transplantation, the pros and cons of a transplant need to be carefully evaluated in the younger patients. Patients between 20 and 30 years of age should have a stabilized rate of hair loss before they are considered for hair transplantation. Usually 250 to 300 single hair, micro, grafts will be necessary to create a new hairline in any individual. The micrografts in the hairline should be placed in an irregular sawtoothed pattern of macro and micro irregularity to give a natural appearance. Local anesthesia is used for the entire procedure.